On the way! No, identify! Oh. Identify! Fire! On the way! Target, target, target. Sorry, target. Gunner, missile, 12 o'clock, tank in the open, 1200 meters! Identified! Fire! On the way! Target, 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 the open, 1200 meters! That engine bay is bad, too. Identify VTR, 1200 meters. Fire! All the way. Actually, do these kinds of uh, firing yeah. every year. Okay. Uh, but uh, like I said, awesome. we all, also, you know, uh, do with uh, all the weapons. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Everyone yeah, pushing off. Gunner missile, BTR, 12 o'clock, 1200 meters. I got five. Fire! On the way. What's the maximum effective range for this? Hey, what's your class? 300 meters. That one's only 200 meters. So you got your sights right here. You know, aim down the sights. Right here. Final safety mechanism right here, and then you'll fire when I tell you. But before you fire, clear back blast area clear. You have at it, all right? Get you down, fire blast, push and trigger. All right, go ahead. Black blast area is clear. So today we had a uh, anti-tank missile shoot. We used tow missiles, javelins, and also a uh, AT4s. So basically, I have had classes already when I was uh, in my school, and also uh, when I was a conscript, I had cut the AT4s class, but it, I didn't have the time. We did had the, I didn't could cut the shot. It, but right now, uh, Americans just gave me one and let me shoot. They gave me best instruction that I ever had, so it was pretty nice experience for me. Americans being here, mm -hmm. basically they would show show the force, I think, and uh, they will help us to do our uh, uh, how to say operations, like the big uh, Operation Seal was. Everybody could, could see the tanks how they operate. The public was pretty uh, nice to everybody. They wanted to see tanks and also the big Humvees who were armored also. So basically they will help us to uh, learn how to deal with the tanks or how to uh, get along with the tanks, how to use them in the field, in the battlefield, how to see how what's the tactics and everything. Basically shows us a pretty good tactical picture then, then we know what to do uh, when the bigger uh, companies gonna come in, what to, what we can do with them, or uh, what they need for, from us, and basically like this. So basically, I give thumbs up to being here. Today the focus has been working on anti-tank weapon systems that we use as a scout platoon in our scout troop. In addition, we have our mortars out over here working on crew serve and small arms. Uh, the main point as far as our end goes today is to just qualify on them as well as verify their systems still work. Um, as far as with the Estonians go, they focus a lot on the same kind of tactics with their scout units, so a lot of it is a way to kind of show what we use versus what they can use and kind of like integrate and get an idea of how each, each other work as far as like our systems versus theirs. 
it's a good experience. It's a little different because when we're at Germany or any other normal training base, it's very structured. We just pull up. It's already set up for us and established, which is nice, but I think we learn more out here where we have to set it up ourselves and then also work with the Estonians and set up kind of based on their rules and guidelines. And it gives us sort of a, a more perspective on it. This is more of a realistic situation versus the Germany or any home post, they just do a lot of the work for you and you pull up and you just have to bring the equipment and the weapon systems and you're good to go. Okay. I, it's just like, I think well, like a lot of the training we've been doing out here, it's a good opportunity to just get together and work with these guys one-on-one -on -one using, again, like I said, real similar tactics that we and they have and just sort of different equipment to accomplish the same goal. So I think it's a good chance to just sort of relate in the same level as far as like, hey, this is how we approach a given situation versus how they would and sort of see it from both perspectives. I think it gives us more perspective. Um, I think you get kind of tunnel vision when you're with one unit and you do it constantly the way they do it and you get trained and proficient, but you never really see an alternate approach or point of view to that whole scenario or tactics and whatever situation it would be.